This morning, there was a long line of veterans waiting to pre-register for the West Texas State Veterans Cemetery at the VA clinic. Representative Norman Bearden t says several told him they came after learning about the Veterans Cemetery from our story last night. Now we're getting a closer look at the cemetery grounds and how construction is coming along. KCBD News Channel 11's Brittany Crittenden toured the site east of the Loop on 50th Street and gives us a look. So this will be the this will be the main entrance road. Right now, construction crews are leveling ground at the West Texas State Veterans Cemetery. They're marking different areas and moving dirt so the site can look like this in fall of 2025. Our administration building is right back in there where those posts are. The cemetery will feature a Texas flag at the entrance and an American flag in the middle of this star. For phase one, crews are developing 44 of the 100 acres gifted for the project from the city of Lubbock. On-site representative Norman Bearden says excavating for the traditional burial crypts should take place soon near the main entrance. Phase one also features in-ground cremated burial plots and a columbarium for above-ground cremains. A total of 4,100 spots will be available when it opens. And our scattering garden will be right over here. That's where uh, just be a nice, nice area to scatter ashes. You'll be able to see the lake eventually back there, Lake 7. Bearden says there are things that will make this state cemetery unique to West Texas, like a concrete rustic fence and an entrance gate designed and built by a veteran-owned company. The uniform headstones, though, will look like what you would find at any other state cemetery. That's just part of the military culture, you know, just, just you know, precision and, and just, you know, attention to detail. That's, that's, that's what they teach us in the military, and that's, you know, what we're very proud to carry, carry out. Bearden says the Veterans Land Board is now accepting applications for monuments that will likely be donated by local veterans organizations. It's also accepting donations for a bell tower. While right now it's just dirt, Bearden says native landscaping will transform the land into a beautiful final resting place. And I think it's going to be a very emotional uh, event for a lot of people, uh, especially those of us, and I include myself, that this will be my final resting place. So um, it's, it's, it's just going to be a pretty, pretty moving moment. Brittany Crittenden, KCBD News Channel 11. You can find the link to pre-register for the cemetery and how to donate at kcbd.com. You can also follow the construction progress at the West Texas State Veterans Cemetery on Facebook.